Hey folks, in this interview, it's all about Lens Baby and their new Omni product. This is Twit. Hey, welcome back to another episode of This Week in Photo. I'm your host, Frederick Van Johnson. Today on the show, I have a friend of mine, Mr. Craig Strong. He's been on the show before. Uh, and if you do remember his past appearances on TWIP, you'll know that he is the chief creative officer and a co-founder of a company called Lens Baby. They make some, some pretty cool light bending tools, the latest of which is the Omni series of products. So we're going to talk about those today. And uh, before we do, Craig, we should sort of give us the Reader's Digest version of Lens Baby. You've been on before, so most people know all about Lens Baby. But for the folks that may not, what is Lens Baby? Good to be back, Frederick. Thanks for having me here. Um, yeah. Let's see. So Lens Baby makes creative effects camera accessories uh, now, but previous to that, it was just lenses. And uh, so, but everything we do helps you uh, find your creative voice and does so in a way that um, is a little, di little different than a traditional lens manufacturer or accessory manufacturer. Love it. Love it. So you guys, you guys are creating lenses, you know, that's the obviously lens baby. Uh, but you do some different things. And one of the things we, we talked about, I think, in the first interview with you was the, you know, you combating sort of the idea that these types of accessories slash lenses can't be used for professional level work or repeatable level work. Can you talk to that a little bit before we dive into the Omni? Well, when, when I started Lens Baby, I was a professional photographer, and um, I, I had come through newspapers to start shooting commercial and weddings and whatnot. And so I, uh, I kind of had a small view of what Lens Baby could be in terms of what I was using it for. I was using it for detail photos at weddings. I was shooting uh, you know, moments that were happening when, when I'd gotten all the safe images that I, that I wanted to get, uh, that, that the clients expected. Um, but what happened was once we introduced the lens baby, it started being used for really serious work, uh, photojournalism, which I, I wouldn't have thought. Um, but it's really been our, our customers and the photographers out there that have, have gotten the lens baby products in their hands and on their cameras that have really defined what can be done. And it's pretty limitless and, and it's kind of blown me away. Cause like I said, I had a, a pretty small perspective of, you know, this is, this is something that, uh, would, would be done for fun would be done to to reignite your creative juices and and both those things are true but then it's also used to create unique imagery for your clients and which client isn't going to choose the photographer that gives them the most creative work that's going to stand out uh, pretty much most of them so any yeah. any of them that i want to work for that's cool that's cool all right well good so let, let's switch gears and talk about this new thing so thank you for sending these over so i can get a look at these I yeah got... you bet I've got two well-made, uh, what feels like felt and Velcro and, and hand-stitched uh, with leather on them sort of things in my hand. So tell us about this product and the inception of the product. So the Omni, what is it? So the Omni filter is a product that, that uh, I've got one right here that allows me to uh, put various things in front of the lens. And currently we've got uh, this right here is the, um, uh, what do we call it, the rainbow film. And that's going to give you um, some streaky rainbowy things going on. Uh, you can see that's oh, reflections yeah. combined with um, the transmitted rainbow that you see from up above. Uh, all sorts of stuff going on. So uh, this is this is one that's great on phones and whatnot. But you know these little tiny lenses like I've got on my laptop, um, they'll tend to show the edges and whatnot. So. Um, that would be a different product in a different time. But right now we've got it for interchangeable lens cameras, anything with, with filter threads on it. Um, so yeah, it's the, the ring right here screws onto the front of your, your lens. We've got a 58 millimeter and that has accessory, I'm sorry, step up rings, uh, for, or step yeah, step up rings for 55, 52, and 49 that come along with it. Uh, and then we have a larger one. Uh, you can see here on my 85 that uh, this this is a 77 and it has a step down ring to 82. And uh, step up rings from uh, 
72, 67, and 62. So, That's interesting. Uh, yeah. So, so you got everything but, covered, basically. You know, but the for... idea here is that you can you can position the things that you're shooting through. We've got a, a triangle prism here on a handle. You can position it wherever you want and leave it there with both hands free to shoot uh, while, while you're taking your pictures and not have to um, hold it in place in the exact same spot uh, where you want it for every image, which isn't very practical. That's cool. So, and and can you can you talk a little bit about the just the design? Because when I when I picked it up, the photos on the website do it do it a fair amount of justice. But actually holding those those little what do you what do you what what do we call them? What's the word for those those little? So these are effect wands. Effect so got, wands, so and they're magnetic, got, and the arm is like it's sort of ball and socket magnetic that's attached. Yep. Can you go through the the inception of that? A little? Yeah. So let's let's get it down to its basics here. We've got uh, the ring. Which comes with the step-up ring, so it'll go on any of your um, any of your lenses, uh, most interchangeable lens lenses that are, you know, not 112 millimeter diameter, which we're working on as well. Uh, we'll work with it, and then we've got uh, these magnets here, which you can just put your effect wands directly on, um, or uh, you you can put an, an extension arm, which allows you to articulate that and have a little more. Uh, three-dimensional uh, control so you can put it the the magnets will be down off to the side and you can put that down at the bottom without having to slide anything around although these magnets slide slide around and give you lots of freedom uh, so we've got a long arm and a short arm so uh, you can get up to four accessories on at once the way it's equipped so you can put one down straight on the magnet on the ring and then um, two on arms and you're you're set to go that is cool. That is cool. So then what, what part of that is magnetic? Is it the ball that's magnetic or the, the socket? So it's the socket that's magnetic. So we've okay. got these uh, hollow uh, countersunk magnets. And at the bottom of those magnets, uh, we've, we have um, a, a tensioner, which allows you to get nice, solid tension. So it's not going to move around ac accidentally. Um, and then the same is true out at the end, where you've got magnets out at the end of the arm. And uh, yeah, it's it's uh, a nice kit. It, the uh, the idea came from uh, from a lot of our customers using the you know prisms and holding things up, plastic bags, whatever, mm -hmm. in front of their in front of their lenses. It's been out for you know it's probably since the beginning of photography that looking through something to create more interest, uh, but then to to look through something that is is specifically designed and tailored uh, to do to create um, lots of different effects. In fact, what we've got right here is a prism, and this prism gives you um, three different. Uh, ways to, as you rotate it, it gives you different perspectives um, because it's three different angles that we're working with. Uh, looks like we've got a 90 degree, a 30 degree, and a 60 degree. Um, and that might not be true because I'm not, I just play an engineer on TV. And, and <laughs> You um, had me fooled until you said that. <laughs> but, but as you turn it, you get what, what you would normally get with a triangle prism would be um, three 60 degree um, angles that that would give you your effect and as you turn it you get the same effect at each uh, at each spot with this one you get a different effect and you know um, yeah we so so we're, we're coming into it purposefully uh, like we do with our lens design and saying okay how can we make this as versatile as possible yeah, no, that's fantastic. And and the inception of it, like I said in the beginning, was from customer input and just sort of, like you said, when you develop the company or when you when you when when the epiphany came, it was based on real world challenges and how do I get from here to here. You guys were looking at, hey, people are sticking stuff in front of the cameras, and let's yeah. make that easier and a little bit more repeatable, right? Yeah, and and a lot of our ideas have come since that original uh, mechanical invention I had, which was to be able to tilt your lens. Um, even even what lens we put in that original lens baby, those ideas came from the beta testers at the time and then our customers. So uh, it's really important for me, especially now that I'm not a professional photographer, um, that that we're paying attention to what what our users and what people that are attracted to uh, creative photography are doing. 
Yeah. No. Oh, very cool. Very cool. So then, so looking at these the these little wands, uh-huh. uh, who came up with the idea for each piece of these? And is you know, are are is this sort of a the beginning? Because I think we, there's six out now, right? So is this yeah. the be, the beginning of a long line of different? types well, of sure ones so. that people may buy yeah. so how yeah, does that work got, so you you got, launched a basic you, a basic package and then there's an extension package take me through how you how you have that set up so when you buy into the system you get a um uh, the ring which i showed you that screws onto the onto the camera and it comes with the uh mounts for the magnets and the arms um and the wands to go on to it. It comes with three different accessories that are, are in this front pouch. Um, I showed you already the, uh, the other, um, Oh, uh Oh, I showed you something I shouldn't have showed you earlier, but yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, so this is a different rainbow film, uh, yeah. in the current pack that comes with your system. And so you get three different effects effect wands and then you get the extension arms which allow you to articulate those into just about any spot that you want so um and like i just spilled the beans on we have another effect um kit that uh so these these two just velcro right together so you get uh, a system that you can just slide down in your briefcase or in your backpack or or camera bag Uh, and this comes with three slots um, and then a larger slot that we uh, can can put even more stuff in, and there will be more stuff uh, that are going to have your various effect wands in it. Yeah, uh, yeah. And so that's the expansion is is to buy three more effect wands. The the original kit, the base kit with the rings and the step up rings, and it comes with a filter wrench in case anything might get uh, screwed on too tightly. Um, that comes. Uh, that's sold for a hundred dollars uh, currently, and the expansion kit is sold for fifty. And uh, those will be depending on how many things and and the complexity of the the products that we put in there um, will be various prices. But you know that's that's the two starter pieces that we've got out right now. Very cool. And those those are available now. And if people want to buy them, they can go to lensbaby.com or lensbaby.com. Yeah. Where where else where else are they available? So Adorama B and H. Um, if you're overseas, look look on our website and find uh, the stores that uh, you can go go buy them at and your distributors. That's cool. Well, one one thing I wanted to wanted to chat about briefly was just the I wanted to get, just say kudos on the packaging of this because it, it it feels it, I could see. I, I could feel Craig Strong in here. <laughs> you know, it's just sort of, sort of, you know, the fit and finish and the attention to detail and even the the thoughtfulness of the the Velcro on the back, so you could stick them together in the bag. Um, that process was it, or, or the you know, yeah, obviously the wands themselves were sort of the epiphany of the market needs this and how do I get this? But the the packaging and the overall delivery of the product. Where you you could have easily just said, "Hey, here it is in styrofoam or plastic, and pop them out and go have at it and figure it, just throw them in your camera bag." But sure. you went with this. So what what was the mindset behind that? So so um, I'd had a case for my Kindle that was was very similar, and and I just liked carrying it around. So for me, that that you know the tactile feel of the felt and the nice thick material uh, I liked it and so so that's where we started I gave it to my team and they pretty much came up with this you know we had the requirement that it it not bend so it has a backbone on either end um, or on either side that keep it from bending so that you're not gonna quite so easily break your your um, uh, your wands if you you put them in a, in a bag that's a little too full um, and then it, you know it's just a matter of developing the the number of pockets and everything fitting but uh, yeah we had a great supplier that that worked with us and and gave us what we needed it's you know manufacturing is a completely this was something new for us we'd never worked with felt we'd never worked with um, you know really having a case for our product that was necessary because a lens you put it in your camera bag and and you know we could provide a, a little microfiber bag or not and it, mm-hmm. it didn't it wasn't that big of a deal uh, but with these things these don't have a home there, there's no camera bag that that's tailored to to fit your omni filter and so we needed to give you something that was complete and I wanted it to be something that you you know, before you even open it, you like it. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Does that mean maybe the next logical step for Lens Baby is to 
kind of move into that camera bag accessory market maybe i know there's there's certain companies that has proved that there's oil in them hills so. yes true and <laughs> and uh we partner with those companies to get some of our things done and, and uh, I, oh. I i i love having wonderful partners in the market and and not not having competition uh with you know a few few exceptions allows us to work with other lens makers allows us to work with camera bag makers and whatnot i think we'll probably stick to to what we do best that's good that, that's refreshing to hear you know just to we're gonna we're gonna focus on making this thing the best it could possibly be versus yeah hey you know let's diversify and see how much of the pie we can take that's it's, it's fantastic well and you know I gotta say think tank I don't know that I would would um, presume that I could do something better than they do everything I've had of theirs has been fantastic so yeah no no for sure for sure so that's the that's the Omni line um, and again congratulations it's it's fantastic you know it's 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 well made and it has a permanent place in my bag so you know not many things get get that wow that was fast <laughs> so you know uh, you know when, when you know you know I'm just saying um, so, the, so, so did, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. So, so what, what was the criteria for you that made it, um, take a permanent place in your bag after, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks of use? Um, well, the first of first and foremost, I guess would be the packaging. So it felt like it, it wasn't a, okay, let me rearrange my entire loadout to fit this thing in there. Cause right. you know, if you're anything like me, everything has its place in the bag and, you know, introducing new citizens in there as it could be a big deal, <laughs> but, yeah. but, but, you know, you, the way that you guys sent it over, it was like, okay, it can go exactly right there and stay there. And I am moving into doing some experimental type portraiture and that sort of thing. So this couldn't have come at a better time for me to start experimenting with. That's so. awesome. So it lives in the bag. I get to play with it. You know, I get to pepper the the chief creative officer with questions about it. <laughs> so, nice. you know. so what? So to wrap this up, Craig. The so this is the latest sort of lens baby stepping outside the box product. Sure. What about traditional? I mean, if as much as you could say lens baby is traditional, what about the traditional product line? Are we going to see any any changes there anytime soon that you can speak to? So we're still working on lenses, and that's that's our our uh, lifeblood here because um, you know that we've learned that, and that's our craft, and and we um, we find that the the lenses that are out there in the market tend to be very sterile, and so when someone wants something, even even the quote unquote art lenses are pretty much perfect, and so to be able to go go back in time um, or or to you know, go forward in time to something that uh, really has a specific effect that's intentional. A lot of the older lenses you can get that have an unintentional effect. You know, you're using uh, a lens that was meant to go on 16 millimeter film, and now you're using it on a full frame, so you get all this craziness and weirdness. Uh, what we're doing is we're taking uh, our lens design knowledge, and we're saying we we want to get we're going to intentionally give you the things that that are possible that are quite interesting that that uh, you may connect with not everything is going to be something that that somebody that wants to do something creative with their their camera uh, is going to connect with but you know for instance with our our trio lens it has three different effects and and you just turn the lens on your mirrorless camera and it's like a turret and you can go between velvet getting a beautiful velvety glow over the tack sharp detail and it does some crazy things to the highlights uh, to a swirl where you get a petzful effect especially at the closer focus when you've got a detailed background and then the classic lens baby look which is one area of sharp focus and gradual blur as you move away from that. So we're all about saying, okay, we're going to be intentional about what we bring you. It's not going to be an accidental effect. We're we're going to make the most of it, and we're going to make it as variable as possible. So that's that's our our lifeblood. And until uh, everybody's shooting exclusively with an iPhone, um, and and you know our lenses don't make sense there. Everything's computational photography, essentially. Uh, we're we're going to continue to give uh, the those who who want to be part of the process of making their images, uh, and and to do that intentionally, we're going to give them more options than a normal lens maker is going to make is going to give them. 
I love that. Very well said. I think, I think you're you're safe because the uh, sort of the analog world of of image making versus the computational photography digital side. Yeah. Yeah. There's the overlap is getting thicker, but I don't see I don't see the analog bending light side going away anytime soon. So. Yeah, and it's it's still quite exciting. It's a, it's a just like you said, picking up the case was important to you. It's you know it's you carry your phone around, it becomes normal. I, I want to, I want something that, that is magic. And, and if it's all hidden behind, all hidden in bits and, and something that I can't even influence other than just choosing a filter, uh, that for me, there's, there's a bit of the soul that's gone. And so, uh, if I can hold something that's actually bending the light in a certain way and be part of that process, that's more exciting for me. And, and that's, that's the customer and the, the photographer that we want to serve. Love it. Love it. Well, Craig, thanks a, a ton for coming on again. I I've always appreciate and, and uh, love chatting with you. You're, you're the, one of the original photopreneurs, people that had a, you know, had a great idea of how to improve the way people that make images make those images, implemented it, and here we are. How many years later since, uh, since you started Six, the company? 16 years. 16 years later, still know, bending, right? still finding new ways to bend light. I love yeah, that. Yeah, and, and I was inspired. I'll, I'll say um, a shout out to Ernie Fenn, who uh, really inspired me. He he was one of the founders of Stofen Products, and that was the uh, light diffuser, you know, through the, the 80s. And I, I probably bought 10 of them at, you know, 20 bucks a piece. And each time I said, that's a lot of money, but it's worth every bit. You know, and, and I went to him early on and said, Ernie, how do I do this? And he was a huge help for me. Um, but, you know, there's there's a, a great long tradition in this in this market of people working together and helping other people to um, to make make businesses that serve other photographers. It's it's a great space. I love it. I love it. Well, you're welcome on this weekend photo anytime. Whenever you guys introduce new and exciting ways to bend light, let us know well, about thanks it. Thanks for having me on, Frederick. <laughs> no, it's always always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. All right, Craig Strong, I will let you go. And uh, I'm off to go play with my little Omni products over here. So. All right. Have I'll, fun. I'll keep you posted. I'll post some images and you can critique me. How about that? Look forward to seeing the pictures. <laughs> All right, Craig Strong, take care, man. Okay. This is Twitter.